Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for November 27th of 2024 is titled The Meteor and the Comet. So what do we see here? Well, as you might guess, we're going to see a meteor and a comet. On the left hand side, we see the streak of a meteor. And that is its tail where it evaporates in the upper Earth's atmosphere. And the meteor itself is just actually a small bit of a comet, not the comet that we're seeing elsewhere in the image, but of another comet long ago that passed through the inner solar system and left material behind. And then when the Earth passes through the orbit of that comet, even though the comet may be long gone, then we pick up some of that debris, little bits of ice and dust that will then strike Earth's atmosphere at very high speeds and be vaporized. And that's essentially what we're seeing in that trail. Now the meteor itself is visible just for a fraction of a second. It appears and if you miss it, it's gone. Now the comet on the other hand to the right hand side lasts for a much longer time. Comets are visitors to our inner solar system from the depths of the outer solar system and may come from the Kuiper belt, a flattened area of cometary nuclei out beyond the orbit of Neptune. And some of them can also come from the Oort cloud, which is a spherical distribution of material around our entire solar system. Now that's what we see here on the comet on the right hand side again is that visitor to our solar system and we see the head of the comet down to the lower right hand side and the tail of the comet stretching back to the upper left. And this is, of course, Comet Chuchinshan Atlas that we've looked at a number of times this fall and is a very prominent comet or was a very prominent comet, although it's heading back into the outer solar system now and likely will never return. Or if it does, it could be hundreds of thousands of years from now. Comets like this are on very elongated orbits, and that means they spend the vast majority of their time out in the depths of the solar system. And when they come into the inner solar system, that's when they're closest to the sun and they move fastest. So they zip around that portion and may spend only a small few months close to the sun and spend the vast majority of their lives out in the depths of the solar system. Now here we can see the comet tail stretching back as it is put, pushed back by the sun. And again, that comet tail is leaving behind debris. Now if Earth happens to pass through the orbit of this comet at some point in the future, then we could have a meteor shower from this comet. However, the orbits of comets are quite tilted relative to the solar systems. And it is quite possible that most of these cometary orbits will never have paths that come anywhere near Earth. So that was our picture of the day for November 27th of 2024. It was titled The Meteor and the Comet. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be galaxy stars. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.